Hello and welcome. Today, my discussion will be on axiology, the theory of value. It is also considered as the philosophical study of value or goodness. In axiology, we try to understand some of the very important questions. They are what is value, what creates value, what is the nature of value. In axiology, it has two different aspects, one is ethics and aesthetics. With the help of axiology, in ethics, we try to understand the nature of behavior, whether it is right or wrong, or good or bad. And in ethics, we try to investigate the nature of beauty. Though they have overlapping questions and, and areas, but value, when we are talking about value, the concept is very different difficult. Value, when we utter this word, we understand, commonly we understand the value of some object, completely from the economic point of view. But in philosophy, especially in axiology, value means something else. It means significance or importance. Now, how value is created? This is a very difficult discussion and very complicated discussion. Because value, how we judge something valuable. In 1926, Sir Ralph Barton Parry wrote a very important book, General Theory of Value. There, he stated clearly, any object of any interest, it means that it is my desire which, which actually determines the value of something. Later, they showed different, other different realms where we can apply this concept. What are the values of an action? Now, when we are living in a society, our action actually, uh, in, you know, when we are interacting with other people, so our behavior matters a lot. So we have to be very, uh, very conscious that when we are behaving in a particular situation, what is really valuable in human perspective? Now, are the human institutions like marriage, family, education valuable? How this relates to greater good. If you take uh, Thomas Hobbes' account into consideration, there he said clearly that our primitive society was brutish, rude. There was no safety for life. For the sake of safety only, we came together and signed a uh, you know, contract which will help us to protect our own self and at the same time we will protect other people also. So in this society, we also develop some institutions like marriage, family, education. For example, marriage is a very primitive institution and there, why and the nature of marriage was quite different before. Now the nature of marriage is completely different. Now point comes, which actually gives you better result? Because we are always looking for better result which help us to keep ourselves safe and which help at the same time which helps our society to go on. Family, the, the structure of family was before quite different. Uh, it was that time it used to be a very big, big family. Many people used to live together, but now it reduced to nuclear. So which is better? Education, the aim of education is to develop one's intellect power, reasoning power. But now the system of education and the nature of education is really helpful. All these discussions comes all these discussions come under the domain of axiology. Now, nature and characteristics of value, value of moral actions. What is the value of moral action? Why we will do a good action, why we will not do any bad action? This all these discussions are very relevant. Types of value. There are two different types of value. Intrinsic value and extrinsic value. Intrinsic value. Something is intrinsically valuable if it is good in itself or good for its own sake. For example, intrinsic value, according to hedonist philosophers, they believe happiness is the intrinsic value. Uh, pragmatist philosopher believes satisfaction, justification and at the same time can't believe aim in itself means that the thing which is intrinsically good, which is na which, uh, who, whose nature is good. Now, extrinsic value or instrumental value 
It is ascribed to things that are valuable only as a means to something else. Here, extrinsic value means which help us to achieve something. So here we can say ambition, ambition, uh, promotion, and competition. All these things can be considered as extrinsic value. So this is today's discussion on axiology. Thank you.